Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Okay, and welcome to the next video in the series about building a switch mode power supply. Got some parts in, got some MOSFETs. Got some resistors, got a couple of opto isolators, and the all important half bridge driver ICs. But obviously, that's not all the parts that this little thing is gonna have. The rest of the parts I'm harvesting out of these computer power supplies. Already got a couple of X rated caps, a line filter. Gonna rip these capacitors out next. And of course the series resistors, that little resistor there, this thermistor, that fuse, and the main transformer. Oh, and an inductor. Nice little collection of parts we got here. All harvested from one of those power supplies. I tell you, this transformer was a real bugger of a job to get out. And this little thing that looks like a transistor, that's actually a rectifier which I'm going to use in the prototype. Of course, the final version of this is going to have a much bigger rectifier than that, but this will do for now. So I'm going to get on and build this thing. Okay, well, I've built the input stage of the circuit with the uh, mains filtering and the filter capacitors. Just going to run a low voltage test through this transformer. That way, if something goes wrong, and I'm pretty sure it won't, but if something goes wrong, they're not going to be any nasty voltages in this thing. Okay, it's in! Now, I'm just going to test the voltages. Right. Well, these wires coming off there, but we're not going to care about those, just as long as they don't touch anything. The red wire is a positive. The green wire is the zero volts. Now, I'm just going to test the voltage across both the capacitors. Hopefully, my hand's not getting in the way of the meter. Yes, it is. Am I still getting in the way of the minute? No, I'm not. Okay, we're going to have to go into a higher range because that's too much for the meter. It cannot stand the awesomeness of this thing. Alright, we've got about 22 volts across those two capacitors. Alright, let's test the voltage across this capacitor. It should be about half that. Okay, we've got 11.1 across that capacitor. Let's see what we got across this one. About 11.2, so that's looking pretty good. I suppose you're wondering what this thing is stuck onto it. Well, that's the capacitor that's going to go to one of the um, pins on this main transformer here. And of course, these other wires are going to go to the MOSFET and the control chip. So, it looks like this part is all good, so I'm going to go and I'm going to build the actual switch mode part of the supply. Okay, so here we are. Here is the finished prototype. Everything is very messy, just like it should be. If this works, I'm going to improve the wiring. Add a second set of MOSFETs for higher power. I was actually going to build two of these supplies, but I think all I'll do is add a second set of MOSFETs. And of course, test to see if I can make this thing regulated. But right now, we're just going to plug it into this transformer, which is going to be about 25 volts or so. I don't know if it'll do anything at that volt. Actually, this transformer outputs about 17 volts, not 25 volts. I don't even know if it'll do anything, but I do want to run a few tests. Just to make sure everything is okay. Before I even attempt to try this out on rectified mains. So I'm going to take some voltage readings. Here we are. I've got the transformer wired up. Well, the... the family guy in the next room rages on. Hopefully the noise reduction will take care of that. Anyway, I'm 
just going to measure the voltage coming into this little circuit here. It should be. This is our control. Going to see what voltage is coming in. I can measure it from this resistor here. Should be about. Okay, we've got about 8.31 volts there. So we're going to need more voltage, that's for sure. Alright, here's the moment of truth. About to plug this into live mains. I have the meter connected to the output. I'm going to just plug that in so we get something. We're already getting something out of these capacitors, so it must have been doing something when it was on the low voltage test. Now I'm going to try to get to the other side of camera, where the wires are. <coughs> Hopefully everything is still recording. Right. Here's our mains output. I'm connecting this in series with a light bulb. So should something go wrong, all that power is going to go through the light bulb and not fry anything, hopefully. What I hope is going to happen is that when I plug it on, this light bulb will briefly come on and then go out, which will mean everything is okay, and we should see some voltage on this meter. So let's see what we get. Like I say, the moment of truth. I do believe it's working. Everything is going exactly as I said it would. The light bulb briefly came on and then went out. We're getting about 13 volts, which is a little bit less than what I expected, but it's looking good. It's looking very good. So I don't really think there's gonna be any point of adding regulation to this circuit after all. I have no idea what kind of power I'm gonna get out of it, but so far, so good. Anyway, I think this is worth uploading to YouTube. Okay, so that just about wraps it up for this video. In the next video, I'm going to try and increase the output voltage simply by connecting the output of the transformer up differently. But for now, I'm really happy that this thing is working. I didn't expect it to work at all. But anyway, that's it for this video, so... From me and Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop, until next time, goodbye.